So this video is going to be about tearing this thing apart and seeing what's inside it. It's a Miniso M I N I S O LED lamp. I paid two dollars for it at the thrift store. This is actually still available on Amazon for thirteen dollars and eighteen cents, and I believe that was Canadian. Uh, the company that made this uh, started in twenty thirteen. And like any good, reputable Chinese company, I'll put what the CEO or whoever up there about what they believe in copyright. Uh, it is cute. But before I tear this apart, I'll just do a quick demo. Power's on. Here's the dim switch or dimmable switch come on okay it went bright there it goes dims down and then you can turn light it up even more so i'll now insert a part about uh charging it uh this is to be inserted into the video for the led light uh, this was shot earlier uh, during uh, Mailbag 64-ish, uh, where I bought this uh, set of adapters. So I've got it hooked up to 5 volts. And I reset the milliamp hours on this. So I'll be able to determine how much charge uh, this thing is going to take. There we go. It is a very nice little uh, LED light, but it's, of course, going to be taken apart bit by bit. Okay, it's charged up, and you got to be joking, 190 milliamp hours? Hmm, that's not going to last long. Oh well, what is is... Well, first thing I'll do is I'll take off this label. Ah, it's got it a bit cleaner, even though I'm tearing it apart. So here's an obvious place for some screws. Let's see if there's anything hiding underneath here. Oh, and there, nice little label there. Let's see. What's their nice little label? What? Oh, bingo! We got one screw. We have two screws. And I'm going to clean this up a bit. Well, I'll give them A plus for the glue they used there. Uh, that stuff was sticky. Even using isopropanol, uh, it was hard to get off. Of course, why am I cleaning it so thoroughly? Then I might be destroying it. <coughs> Hopefully I can put it back together. Okay, the only two screws that I can see, which means it's spludger time. Oh. Hmm. It's put together tight. Nope. Maybe there's a weak spot over here. Or a weak spot over here. Hey, I wonder if this thing pops off. Okay, I'm going to take a closer look first. Okay, it just requires unreasonable force. Get in there, get the screwdriver in, there we go, that sounded good. Okay, a few more on this side. Getting closer. Oh, 
there. Okay. Just trying to see inside so I don't hit the cell. There's the cell right there. Ah, okay. A part it comes. And now I can zoom down. So now that we're zoomed down, pull this battery out. Does it have any workings on it? Yes, underneath uh, this foam. Oh. Oh, you got to be joking. It's glued on. Hmm. Uh, with the amount of effort it took to get that other foam off, I think they probably used the same glue here. Well, I'm going to be doing some chiseling for a moment. So I'll probably just fast forward and not talk while I'm doing this. Just in case this thing uh, goes up uh, spectacularly, what could go wrong with using an uh, ISO and uh, on a lithium-ion battery? I don't know. Okay. Okay, it says it's a 1200 milliamp hour battery and I only put in 190 milliamp. Now, maybe the battery's just simply degraded over time. Uh, maybe it's been left out in the sun. And with that amount of uh, oops, fading of what used to be white, comparing that to that, I'm wondering if this thing got left out quite a bit. So, let's pull the rest of the parts out. After I clean my fingers. Doesn't look like there's much more holding it in. Uh, here's your counterweight to make it uh, sit uh, or stand upright. Hmm, I'm going to have to see if I can figure out what uh, metal this is. It is very heavy, probably cadmium. Uh, hopefully it's lead, but I might be able to figure that out. So let's just get in here. Okay, this is the right screwdriver. And check to make sure the camera is on. Not that I would do that. Okay, I only see. Okay, so there's. Oh, there's one there too. black wire is going to the dimmer part which we can take a look at in a moment and then the two up there okay I'm just gonna clean up the spot for a bit well I forgot to take this apart <laughs> I'll be getting to the circuit board in a moment this is being done after the fact. Detach that. Let's see if this thing will come apart. Oh, there we go. So they've got the heat sink in here. But there's no uh, goop uh, between the two. So how well it'll transfer the heat 
is questionable. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And yeah, that's a better count than when I tried before. I uh, can see nothing on that side. Oh, okay. There we go. I'll just slowly change it back and forth. Uh, they are all in parallel all the way along. So now to the circuit board, which I had already uh, videotaped earlier. So on this side of the board, we have this heading off to the battery. Uh, this going to the touch uh, sensor, which is just... Uh, This thing, which feels like plastic, uh, these going off to the LED. Uh, then we have this um, LED for the power, uh, two color one. And if you notice, there seems to be a fair amount of uh, gunk or weathering on this. Not a good sign. Uh, then we have the power in, power button, so most of the stuff is on this side. And I'm just going to slip a sheet underneath this to cut down on it, trying to focus on things below. So I'll put the this chip here. See if I can get the number this way. I have looked at it under the magnifying glass. It is SGL, and I'll put a picture in the corner there, um, 8022 WS. It's a touch LED um, chip, basically. Uh, I'll put a description of it, move over this way, in the corner there. Then also then the pinouts of it. Then a typical circuit uh, diagram for it. So basically that's looking after the dimming part of it right there. Over this way, we can see that this thing may have got water into it. This could be explaining some of the problems with the battery actually. Uh, since lithium-ion batteries apparently don't like getting wet. But the charge circuit for it, and I, it's just directly connected here, so there's no charge circuit there, or protection, is most likely this U2 here. It's really hard there. You might be able to see it. It says 1.7. So this is probably just um, the charge control, discharge control, uh, and it's just a factory number on the chip. Uh, then we have the diode here. Uh, let's see, let's flip this around. So it's uh, negative side is here, going over to through a capacitor. To that pin there. Uh, the positive is over there. Um, going up to this diode. And then over to this pin here. Which is a six pin um, IC. So that most likely is just looking after the battery part of it in the charging. And that's all you need on this because... Uh, this is looking after the dimming, and this is looking after the power. So I'll try to hold this steady if anybody wants to take a real close look for reversing it. But yeah, that water damage in there, and that's pretty crusty. That wasn't from my cleaning. So that's it for this thing. Uh, two uh, chips, 
One for power, one for dimming, a bunch of capacitors and uh, resistors. Oops. Oh, and the LED, where's that one going? Okay, LEDs here, so yeah, over to this. So that's actually controlling the LED also. So, not bad. I'll probably discharge this again and then recharge it, charge it back up. Uh, see if the numbers change. Uh, if they do, I'll put uh, them in the description. So that's about it. Not bad. I did get a sell out of it, which is of questionable quality right now. Oops. Questionable quality right now. And it says it's supposed to be um, 1,200 milliamp hour. Ah, one thing I can check, though, is... Is it uh, radioactive? Nope. That's a good sign. Not that I'm saying they would do something like that.